What's going on guys? We are back with another video. Today we are going to be doing the Nike SB Huff San Francisco Edition unboxing. Make sure to like and subscribe before you get in this video. It really helps my channel. I just started. All right, now let's talk about the shoes. So these shoes, I have not had one of these boxes, the colorful box before. Let's see what it says. Nike in the swoosh name and stripe are trademarks. Okay. That kind of goes with, I guess, what Nike has been doing lately when they've been going after all these independent people like uh, Warren Lotus. That makes sense. But interesting that they put down the box. I did not know that. All right. Here's the shoe. Take up this. Before we get in the shoe, let me pull out the bag. I thought this was really interesting. All right, so they came in these blind bags originally. This one looks like it was never sealed, as you can see, the plastic is still there. So no one ever sealed this one, but they have a New York one, a San Francisco one, and a mystery one, which was the friends and family one. But apparently from what I was reading online, there was absolutely like no chance to get the friends and family one, even if you got the blind bag and it was unopened, which I think is a really cool concept. I kind of like how they did that. I think it's neat, something different that Nike really doesn't do too much. So I think it's an extra little touch. But let's get into the shoes. I think this is a very good priced SB. They're sitting around 200 used, 300 new, which is a pretty good deal for SB, but an SB with this much detail also. So if we go into the SB a bit more, let's just start with the insoles, the most basic thing. As you can see, it's got the huff and it's got this little chihuahua, I think, right there. I think that's kind of cool. But the SB itself, it has like a little mini swoosh, not embroidered, but it's almost like a pin. No pin on the other side, but I think that's cool. They got the huff logo right there on the toe box. And then as you can see, this starts off as a white panel on both shoes. And you have to take like an X-Acto knife and cut it and cut it off i did not do this i bought it like this so someone took the exacto knife you have to be really careful going around the sides because you can cut through the sneaker it's a nice little touch uh, i think like you should do that more more tearaways i think it's a good concept san francisco right there on the tongue and then it says keith uh keith forever and that stands for keith huffnagel who passed away he was with the huff company that's here uh, who found it, I believe. but And then they have this little 3M logo right here of the city of San Francisco. Uh, just a skyline right there, which is a nice touch also. But if you take a picture of it, I think the it'll light up, of course, because it's 3M. But uh, the one for New York is the New York skyline, obviously. Apparently, I think Keith spent a lot of time between New York and San Francisco, so they had two pairs. This reminds me of like the old SB, the Dunk High. I forget the exact name. I think it's just called the Huff SB, which is a tie dye. That's kind of why I went with this colorway because it has this reddish colorway like the old SB, which I like. And then this side, I don't know why this person didn't, but I, I believe both sides are tearaways. So you can cut this side off also, and then both sides will be this tie dye. Now, the person who did this, you have to be very careful doing it. He did a pretty good job, but looking at it now, you could be a bit more, I don't know what the word for it is, but it's kind of just missing like that perfect cut, if that makes sense. Overall, still really good. I don't know how I feel about doing the X-Acto knife myself. Just a bit worried that I might cut into the sneaker, which would really suck. And then I just noticed this for the first time. I have not seen that before. It says 20 years of huff stitched on the inside in green with green stitching. That's a nice little detail on these sneakers. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Um, I got these off eBay. I got them used. I cut off the authenticity tag already. But yeah, I think overall, really good sneaker. 
one of my favorite SBs I've seen actually, just because of the story behind it. And then also there's a lot going on with this sneaker, especially compared to a lot more SBs. They're a lot simpler. There's not much going on, maybe a colorway, but I think adding a tearway along with all the details in this, it's a really underrated SB. You should definitely go out and try and get a pair. All right, let's go on to the on foot now, guys. Let's talk about these sneakers. All right, now let's talk about the on foot. You know, there isn't too much you can kind of get through on the SBs. I mean, it's going to be pretty similar. Lately, I will say the newer SBs, I'm going to need to size up just because I feel like I have a wider foot and I feel like they fit a lot smaller than the older SBs. I haven't really been buying a ton of new SBs until recently, but I typically wear like a 10 in Air Forces and 10 just will not fit me really on SBs now. For some reason, they fit, I guess, narrower on the sides is why. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace, guys.